In this video, we discuss various type of motor bus transfer. In most industrial applications to provide higher reliability, any motor bus supplies from at least two sources of supply. The main tie main is the typical configuration for motor buses. Any source of supply is playing the role of the redundant source of supply for another side of the bus. For example, source 1 is the main source of supply for bus 1 and redundant source of supply for bus 2. In normal operation source 1 supply bus 1 and source 2 supply bus 2. For any reason, that source 1 becomes unavailable bus 1 will remain unsupplied. In this case, the only way to supply bus 1 is by closing tiebreaker, and transfer bus 1 source of supply to source 2. But opening main 1 circuit breaker doesn't mean bus 1 voltage drop to zero immediately. The voltage on bus 1 slowly decay, the rate of change of voltage depends on the electromagnetic time constant of motors connected to the bus. In most case, it will take 2 to 3 second to voltage drop to under 10% of nominal voltage. The presence of this voltage is due to, the voltage generated by motors. At least one motor will go to generator mode after disconnection of source 1. By disconnecting the source of supply on bus 1, motors connected to bus 1 will slow down, the rate of change of motors speed dependent on a combination of inertia of motors and loads. The current of the induction motor is varying by its speed. The speed that, motor is producing maximum torque or breakdown torque known as breakdown speed, and it is about 90 to 95 percent of motors at nominal speed. With rough estimation, we can say the induction motor current is close to nominal current when motor's speed is more than breakdown speed, and it is close to lock rotor current when motor's speed is lower than breakdown speed. As we saw in the previous slide, motor's speed will drop to lower than breakdown speed in about a second, depend on load and motor inertia. It means in order to re-accelerating the motor after one second we need to supply current close to lock rotor current. Lock rotor current in induction motors is about 5 to 8 times of full load current. Depend on transfer time we can have four types of transfer. Dead transfer. The transfer time in this type of transfer is about few seconds to minutes. Residual transfer. The transfer time for this type of transfer is about 1 to 2 seconds. In phase transfer. The transfer time for this type of transfer is about 200 milliseconds to 1 second. Fast transfer. The transfer time for this type of transfer is less than 10 cycles or 200 milliseconds for the 50 Hz system. Depend on type of transfer, closing tie breaker can happen in few cycle, for fast transfer, to few minutes for dead transfer. If transfer time is about seconds, then reacceleration current is as high as lock rotor current. It is happening in the case of dead transfer. NEMA C50.41 is major governing standard for motor bus transfer. As per NEMA C50.41 residual transfer can happen whenever the motor bus voltage is less than 30%, and the resultant volts per hertz vector, per unit, is less than 1.33. By resultant vector, Standard means the vectorial subtraction of volts per hertz of the motor bus and the new source of supply. The residual transfer scheme is monitoring the motor bus voltage, and whenever the voltage level is less than 0.3 per unit, 
connects the motor bus to the new source. In residual transfer, although the motor bus's voltage is less than 30%, the motor can experience high current. The current is varying by angle difference between the new source of supply and motor bus at the moment of closing the circuit breaker. This current can be as high as 10 to 15 times of nominal current. This high current can generate stress on motor conductors fixed in motor slots, and sometimes cause insulation's physical damage. The high current during residual transfer is due to the fact, the motor is going to generating mode in the moment of transfer and return to motor mode after transient time. It means the direction of torque in the motor's air gap is changing rapidly. Peak-to-peak -peak transient torque in this type of transfer can be as high as 14 times of nominal motor torque. This rapid change of torque is bringing fatigue to the motor shaft and can cause torsion and further mechanical damage to the motor and connected load. In the first few cycle of disconnection of the motor bus from the main source of supply, we can assume the motor bus frequency is stable, and it is close to network frequency. If the new source is in sync with the motor bus, the transfer can happen immediately. Having a fast sync check is essential to perform the fast transfer. The sync check time shouldn't be more than 10 to 15 milliseconds. In the case of fast transfer, the motor's current won't change much. It can be assumed the reacceleration current is about the nominal current in fast bus transfer. In fast transfer, the transfer transient torque is low. The motor won't go to generating mode after transfer, as the new source will be connected with very marginal phase angle differences. After about 10 cycles of disconnection, the difference between motor bus and new source's frequency is not constant and not negligible. This difference between frequencies is generating variable phase angle difference. Slip between this two source is increasing, and in the result, the change of angle difference is becoming faster. In such condition, the time difference between sending close command and actual circuit breaker closing, become crucial as the phase angle will change within this time. In order to compensate the circuit breaker closing time, the close command has to be sent in advance, to circuit breaker close at zero degree. In phase transfer is the scheme to facilitate this type of closing. In this slide, we can see how frequency difference is generating phase angle difference. As in phase transfer happen, Within 10 to 50 cycles, the motor speed is not dropping much, the transfer current, in this type of transfer is between 1.5 to 3 times of nominal current. Because in in-phase transfer, the closing happens at a right angle, motors won't go to generating mode during transfer. In this type of transfer, we will not observe large transfer transient torque. Beckwith M4272 is an advanced motor bus transfer relay. It provides very fast sync check, less than 10 milliseconds. Beckwith M4272 can handle all type of auto transfer, it can facilitate the fast transfer, in phase transfer, residual transfer and finally dead transfer. Beckwith M4272 can also provide the manual transfer. Make before the brake or hot paralleling is the feature that might be required in the seamless manual transfer. Beckwith M4272 
provides automatic and manual transfer of motor bus systems in power plants and industrial processing plants to ensure process continuity. Some highlight features are High-speed fast transfer in 2 to 3 cycles Automatically selects fast, in-phase, residual voltage, and fixed-time motor bus transfers, based on varying system conditions. Applicable for one-way and bidirectional manual and automatic transfers. Programmable load shedding with no time delay for fast transfer. Programmable load shedding before initiating in-phase transfer, residual voltage transfer, and fixed time transfer. Multiple setpoint profiles for various application requirements. Integrated control, supervisory functions, sequence of events, and oscillograph recording in one device. Extensive commissioning tools, including ring down analysis. Communication protocol such as Modbus TCP and IEC 61850.